UAE Super Cup final match. We got Sharjah Al Ain. This is the biggest match in the UAE. Still an hour and a half until kickoff. Check out the stadium, show them the vibe. So the players have rolled in, fans are starting to go crazy and we're gonna have the team warm up soon so stay tuned. So before the match starts let me show you guys a little bit of this stadium, a little bit of the pitch. So over here obviously we got the bench, this is where we got the subs, looks pretty nice. Here we got the coaches box, we're in the technical area. If I'm here that's a yellow card, if I'm here it's a yellow card but here you know I'm nice but if I'm Klopp Yellow card. All right, let's walk around. Check out the quality of these pitches. We got natural grass. Beautiful, nice and short. Show them this quality. Ooh, this is Premier League quality right here. So check out the vibe. Just being in the stadium, it's crazy. Obviously you got, like I'm even looking at it. We got all the Al Ain fans here. This is still an hour, hour and a half until kickoff, but they're ready to go. If you go all around the stadium, put it on 0.5, just so they see how big it is. Go on 0.5, check that out. So, so we got Walid, CEO of the UAE Pro League, UAE Super Cup. What an occasion, I'm loving the atmosphere. Tell us, what's so special about the day? Well, it's a very exciting day. We are very happy because the players like Al Ain and Sharjah are meeting the Super Cup, yeah. the league title and the cup title. Now they are challenging each other to win this trophy. As you can see, these two clubs have a huge fan base. And this is just the beginning. We're still early one hour and a half. So in a way, this is one of the biggest matches in the UAE football Actually, this year. Of course, because this is the crown uh, trophy for the winning of the league of the cup. So it's a very important okay. for all the uh, UAE clubs. But I hope it's going to be an exciting game for all the fans. So it'll be a good game. Very a intense. A lot of goals. That's what we wish for. Oh, I'm a excited to see it. Awesome. Thank yeah, you so much. The match will the match. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. We got some Al Ain fans here. Match predictions. 2-1 for Al Ain. 1-3 for Alain. 3-1 for a Sharjah. The Sharjah is a hard side. You're going for Sharjah? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to kill you. 3-2 Alain, 3-1 Alain. How long have you guys been supporting Alain? One day. Three weeks. Last two years. 12 years. Let's go. It's going to be a good match, huh? Yes. Uh, we got all the Alain fans. This is legit the biggest club in the UAE. Feel free to go. Feel free. So we actually played this club in an exhibition match. I played against Al Ain. We lost 1-0, so it was a close match, but check these guys out. Purple is the color. We got fans all over. These guys have won Asian Champions League. They've played in the Asian Champions League a bunch of times. They've won the UAE Pro League, and they're getting hyped. So they're getting hyped. Let's get it. Radea, match predictions. I think. Who you got? 2-1 That's my prediction, bro. No way! It's my prediction. Hey, you didn't tell me, I promise. Yo, I, I think... Who's scoring the winning goal? Pjanic. I was going to say, I'm coming on the 75th minute. I was about to say, bro, get your boots on. I'm going to land on the, on the ball. <laughs> get it. Only in Dubai do you see a boat. Only in Dubai do you see a ship on a football pitch before the match.
All right, game's about to start. Fans are going crazy. Check it out. We got some chants. Al Ain fans are all on the left side of the stadium. And then Sharjah on the right. Check it out. Show the right. We got Sharjah fans. Second half is underway. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! The fans are going crazy. It's still 1-0, but it's a lot of back and forth. So Al Ain is really going for the goal because obviously they need to get back into the game. And because they're going ahead so much, Sharjah at times is getting them on the counter attack. So it's a it's an exciting game. We'll see what happens. Alcacer is coming onto the field. This guy's played for Barcelona, played for Dortmund. Alright, last couple minutes of the game. What are you guys saying? I, I think you should be on that to be honest. Yeah, you need to. If you were playing for Alain right now, I think Bro. at least a draw man. Where's the comeback? Put me and Mo on. Yeah. Quick one, two down the wing. I'll be on the bench. Yeah. I'll be in the stand still watching, don't worry. <laughs> Galic, last okay. couple minutes of the game. What do you think's gonna happen? Uh, oh you're as feeling it, huh? As an hand Last minute goal? I need it from Lava. Let's hope, let's we'll hope. See it. Last two games he scored in the 94. I heard he's top goal scorer in the league, yeah. is that true? I think he will score today. Yeah. We've got 12 minutes of extra time. Plenty of time for Al Ain to make the comeback. Yo, the last couple minutes is not looking good, bro. What's Al Ain saying here? I think they are playing kind of like not great. Um, but I'm still hoping there's going to be some last bleeping thing that happens. Yo, I think there's like two minutes. Yeah. Last play of the game, it's going to have to happen. And I'm expecting it now.
Blow the whistle. Final whistle just blew. Sharjah 1-0 against Al Ain. They win the UAE Super Cup. Look at the atmosphere. Look at the fans going crazy. The last couple of minutes of the game, crazy, bro. It was going back and forth. Al Ain was attacking like crazy, but couldn't find the back of the net. So, UAE Super Cup this year. Sharjah takes it.